Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Nina and welcome. I am so happy to be here today and I'm glad that you could be here with me today. Um, today, I'm just going to do my eyes. I've pretty much got everything else on and that's because I know I made an hour long video yesterday. So today I don't want to drag it out so long for you guys. I want to open my... Um, good old Splendies that came yesterday. So we got to get those opened up. So I haven't peeked yet, so I don't know what's in there. Um, I am going to use the Lash Step Matte About You um, palette that I got yesterday. And those are the shades and they are matte. <laughs> I'm going to have to dip into something for a little shimmer on the lid because I like shimmer on the lid. Um, what else? I am wearing Parada Candy today. I love this. It's a little on the stronger side, so I go really easy on it. I have used today Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin KVD Concealer in see-through um what else i have the ciate london vitamin boost liquid primer and i also on my lips i have the what is this again bella pierre peach lip mask um i use this because yesterday if you remember i use uh the cab cosmetics gloss and my lips dried out so bad and it was peeling before I even got home. Uh, today I used the cab lip liner and I used my ColourPop liquid matte lip lippy and it's in the shade Trap. And what else did I use? This is the Maybelline New York Unstoppable Black Eyeliner. I will use the liquid hip dot on my lids when I'm done. And I am going to use the TYS Beauty um, lip gloss today. That's why I put the, the um, lip mask on first because I don't want it to uh, dry down as bad. I don't know what that lip gloss is going to do today, so we'll have to wait and see. Um, but now you know about the other one, the cab. It did dry my lips really, really bad. So for now on, if I do choose to use it, I am going to use something under it other than the lip liner. Okay, what else did I use? Mo Beauty Set It Up Setting Spray. I do like it. I also used the Miss Fame, is it Fame? Yeah, Miss Fame. Uh, it's a blush, it says the Blush Series Palette One. I love this palette, it is adorable and classic. But I used this shade, which is a cream shade, and I don't usually gravitate toward creams, but I liked it yesterday, so I used it today. And I also used the, um, Jasmine Beauty Beachside Bronze. I use that for my contour today. For highlighting, I use the Beauty B Beauty Bakery. Oh yeah, Beauty Bakery. The Milk and Honey palette. And I use this shade for my highlighting. And what else? I think that's it, right? And you all know what I used as my setting powder the Tarte Too Faced. I love that setting powder. Um, but yeah, I am going to have to dip into something else for my lid. I'm trying to think what. Maybe the Trend Beauty Tropical Vibes. Maybe we'll give this one a try today. What is this, sandbar? We'll see. We'll figure it out. Or I got my new palette that I used yesterday, the Enlighten. 
eyeshadow palette by Ivy White Beauty. And this has a lot of pretty shimmers in it as well. So I'll figure it out before I get to it, I guess. We'll see. But I think that's about it other than my skincare. That's all I did. So, um, well, that was quite a bit. I don't mean that's all I did. So how is everybody today? I hope everybody is doing great. It's TGIF. Thank God for the Friday. Not that it matters for me because every day is a not so bad day since I am not working anymore. But, and people always tell me, oh, you're so lucky. No, I miss working. I miss my people. I miss my coworkers. I miss um, my clients that I had for home health. Um, I miss taking care of them and, you know, being a part of their lives and making a difference. And I did have um, two of my clients. It was a big family. I may have mentioned this already. But on Facebook, uh, I got a message, and it was from a young lady who was the granddaughter and great-granddaughter of the two that I took care of. They all lived in the same great big farmhouse, and um, it was like four generations under that roof, and I loved that family, and I was there for a very long time. And see, that's what home health is about. I mean, I actually cried when I heard from her because she was telling me how much her family loved me and everything. Um, that's what it's about, you know, connecting, not just with your clients, but with their families as well. So anyways, let's get busy with the makeup. Uh, let's see, what am I going to do here? I'm always so undecided. Okay, I'm going to get a little bit up here. Oh, this is very pigmented. I thought this would go on a little bit lighter. Me and my heavy hands and my heavy dipping. I can't just do a little tap. I gotta dive into it. But I guess that's how you find out, right? I've been, I'm, I'm going to be 57 in October. And I've been doing my makeup since junior high. I wasn't allowed to wear makeup in seventh grade, but I walked to my friend's house in the morning. She lived on the corner. We all met there. Her mother was super cool, super nice, had the music playing. We all did our makeup and we all walked to school together. We all came home together. I went into Vicki's house every day after school and I washed my makeup off quickly and I walked my butt right down the street to home and nobody knew the difference. I never told my girls they weren't allowed to wear makeup. I did kind of, you know, voice my opinion when I felt like, you know, they were overdoing it or anything like that, or I'd give them tips and stuff like that, because I felt like it's only makeup. You know what I mean? And they're expressing themselves and they're learning and they enjoy it. So, I mean, all the girls then wore this heavy black eyeliner. So, you know, that wasn't me, but as you can see, I don't put it on real thick. But I have wore it thick before, though. But um, my girls, you know, started out with the heavy black eyeliner. And they used the lighter to, you know, fire up that end of the pencil and melt it. And it would glide right on. I used to tell them, that is dangerous. But, you know... But back in my day, I wore my black mascara, black eyeliner, and I wore shades of purple on my eyes. So, and I didn't have these brushes like I do now. I used the little applicator that came with the store-bought, you know, makeup. So, 
I did lots of babysitting and stuff like that. I worked at a country club under the table and I made really good money where I could, you know, buy my makeup. As I got older, I was really getting into it. Now in eighth grade, I believe it was, I was allowed to use some makeup. I didn't care if I had to put mascara on while I walked to school. I got my makeup on. Yes, indeed. And then it got to the point where my parents, you know, my mother and stepfather were not home when I got home. So I could wash my makeup off then. So, but yeah, I loved it. And I still love it. I mean, at the end of the day, you could just wash it off. Or in the middle of the day, you could wash it off and start over. Make a mistake, do something you don't like, wash it off and start over. It's pretty cool to be able to do that. You know what I mean? Now I'm going to go into my crease with a little bit darker shade. If you hear the beeping in the background, that is my wonderful microwave. That annoys me. Before, I couldn't hear it. Now, it annoys me. When I put something in the microwave and it is done, it gives me the alert to let me know that it is done. It keeps alerting. I mean, it will alert for hours if you let it. So, I have to go in there and shut it off, you know, reset it or whatever press that button, but uh, I've gotten to the point with the kidney failure, the kidney disease, I get a lot of very bad tastes in my mouth from the toxins that my kidneys do not filter out of my blood. So then if I eat my food hot, it tastes disgusting. But if I eat it on the cool side, Sometimes it's okay. Not always, but sometimes. So I'd rather go with the cool side so that sometimes I actually get to eat my food because I won't eat it if it tastes bad. You, I know it doesn't really taste bad, but it doesn't matter. You know, it's what it tastes like when it's in my mouth. So my doctor's appointment yesterday, you guys, wonderful. Uh, the surgery was a success, and I have eight leads in my spine. All three are working, and they're fully functional 100%. Um, the battery has also been replaced, and it's tiny, tiny compared to the big old bulky one I had. So I adore that, and we have a new... Um, controller and I don't have to put it against my battery to change my settings on it and it is touch screen I'm opening it right now because I have this nice little leather case that comes with it and it hooks onto your belt your pants your purse whatever and th this is by um why am I Medtronic I know that but you know it's all touch screen and it works with my touch of my finger. And it's not connected. It's pairing to my device right now. And I have it on. And it is simple. It's easier. It's less complicated, less confusing. It's smaller. It's touch screen. I'm not having to put it up against my battery. Um, it's just the whole entire thing has changed and I love it and it is on right now. I feel all this nice tingly massage in my lower back down to my, past my knees to get it to do anything for my shoulders. They have to go in cause right now the leads are, I've got eight leads through my thoracic spine. They have to go into the other part of my spine. They connect it to, they connect a new one to the, um, the ones in the thoracic spine. And 
they have to come up and out and do it that way. So that's another major surgery. I'm, well, it's semi-major. I don't consider it major. I've been through worse. I know that much. So um, I am going to see the orthopedic surgeon again because this one can be used with any MRI. So I am good to go for the MRIs now. So if she doesn't do something to repair my shoulders, then the other doctor will, you know, do the surgery and all it does is mask the pain. So, I mean, that alone is better than nothing. It's better than being on narcotics for the rest of your life because I was on a lot of narcotics because my pain is severe and it's permanent. It's not going away. And it got to the point, no matter what I was on, fentanyl patches, when I found out what that was, I told them, no, I'm not doing this. I took Dilaudid, Percocet, um, Morphine, what else? Uh, Flexerol, which I ended up being allergic to, Soma. What else did they have me on? Uh, then I was on methadone, then liquid methadone, you know, and tramadol for breakthrough pain. And I took myself off. I was on Nucenta. I think that's the last one I was on was Nucenta. And I weaned myself off of it because I don't want to be 90 years old popping narcotics. You know what I mean? And I did get very sick with the flu and I thought it wasn't going away and I got even worse here it wasn't I was sick I was going through withdrawal because I couldn't keep my medications down so yeah I prefer this I really do and being that with kidney failure I'm not allowed I think I got the corners pretty good I'm not allowed to have uh, any NSAIDs, you know, ibuprofen, Motrin, nothing like that. Um, I welcome the pain relief this way. You know what I mean? I won't lie. I've popped a gummy here and there, but that's when it's got so unbearable and keeping me awake and, you know, but I take like a fourth of a gummy because I don't really use them. Only in an emergency, an extreme case. But I've had extreme cases last week and well, all this week and last weekend, but I still didn't, you know, I refrained. I kept with the Tylenol. He had me, he prescribed me hyd hydrocodone, but it didn't help with the pain. So I didn't take it. So I tried, I tried a couple times and it didn't help. So I said, Psh, cause that is a narcotic. So why take it if you don't need it? I mean, I needed it, but it didn't work for me. So everything was a success and I am so grateful. My doctor is great. Uh, Chris is my Medtronic representative and he was great he even you know went a little further in showing me what he does on his tablet to get me programmed and up and running and I appreciated the insight because now I understand the system a whole lot more and that's a good thing so it was a very good appointment and I go back again, I think in four weeks or five weeks. I think it's four. I have an appointment in April anyways. Let's see. How's that look, guys and girls and everybody? And everybody in between? Okay, let's get that lid a little bit. I think I'm going to go with this, this purplish shade right here. Or do I want to do third eye? I think I'm going to do third eye. 
it's this one right here. Okay. I've been told by many that I have the third eye. And honestly, they're right. Good old microwave going off in the background. Today wasn't as bad of a morning as yesterday, but it still was, I did some crazy things. Well, only one thing. I made myself a cup of coffee with my single serve coffee maker that I use every day. Only I didn't use a cup. <laughs> It filled up the base and all over the counter. And I was like, how the heck did I do that? But I remember doing it many times before as well. So, you know. Oh, I'm not losing it. That's for sure. I just forgot. So, I think it was because I was in the bathroom and I have decided that I am getting an extension phone for my home phone to put in my bathroom and another one here at my vanity. I have one at my bedside on the bedside table and I have one next to my chair in the living room. Obviously, that is not as enough. If I can't find add-on extensions for them, for it, because it is a cordless phone system, I will, and it connects to your cell phone too, I will just buy a new one because I'd like to have one in the kitchen too. It wasn't very pleasant having to jump up and run to the living room phone and answer the phone. And I knew it. As soon as I sat down, I knew it. My nurse was going to call and tell me she was coming today. Well, I already knew she was coming. I just didn't know what time. Okay. It's like it's not showing up for me on this side. Like, what is it? And I have to go get my grandson some strawberries. I think he's staying the entire visit. I mean, his entire vacation, which I think is through Easter. So his mom will probably come pick him up Saturday night so the Easter Bunny can come visit him at home unless she wants to redirect the Easter Bunny here, but I don't think she'll wanna, you know, she's gonna wanna see him find, cause they hide his Easter basket, like, you know, the Easter Bunny hides it, like the Easter Bunny hides, hid my kids' Easter baskets too. So. Okay, I think that's fine. <laughs> Now for some mascara. I have the rocket because I am leaving the house today and Anastasia Beverly Hills. I have yet to put on my lip gloss also. I'm going to turn, I got this little tiny side fan over here. I'm going to turn it off so I don't dry the mascara quickly. I was always taught to roll my mascara onto my lashes, but that was years after I was already using mascara and just swiping it on. So sometimes I do roll it, sometimes I don't because it's not my habit to roll it. If you start out that way, it sticks with you usually, but 
Not me. I need to drink a coffee. The coffee's cold, too. Okay, come on, Teresa, get done. Oh, excuse me. So, what is everybody doing for their weekend? My grandson's coming, of course. Today's his last day of school for his spring vacation that they used to call Easter vacation, and now it's spring vacation. But it's snowing again today. <laughs> so much for spring vacation, huh? Did I get that on my face? I did. No. It was hanging off my eyelashes. So, yeah. Ronaldo told me that when he gets older, he's still going to come to my house all the time and stay with me. And he'll bring his wife and kids too. And I was like, that sounds wonderful. I'm putting on the, um, oh, it tastes good, the TYS Beauty Lip Gloss. Um, it's not real sticky. It's definitely not the shade I ordered. I'm not going to swipe it because I'm trying not to get the ColourPop shade on this doe foot applicator. That turned out nice. It tastes good. I know my lip isn't going to last long, but it tastes good. It smells good. It looks good. Okay. Going in for the Maybelline Rocket. It's waterproof. I think it's supposed to snow today. I hope not. Not while I'm going to the store for strawberries. Because I got out my little clog slides and I have those on. I've never wore them before, so I like them. They're cute. They're comfortable. I tried them on when I got them and then put them on the shelf, but you know, weather has not permitted me to wear them. Right now it is 29 degrees, but I do have boots out just in case. They're sitting right next to my chair. So my ride should get here around 2.45. Well, no, more like 2.30 for me to go pick up strawberries. And there's something else I have on my list, but I can't carry more than two bags up the stairs. And then I have my purse added with it. And I struggle at the top of the stairs because I have so many. I'll have to show you guys one day. I take my tablet with me and make a little video. I came home yesterday and I charged up my internal battery. It was charged just like that. It only took, it didn't even take half an hour. Before, with the old one, it was like an all day thing and I could never get a signal and I'd have to twist and turn. There's an antenna inside it and there's a turn knobby and you had to put the belt on and it was uncomfortable, Some it was elastic, and I just, I did it for pain relief. You know, I didn't really have a choice. This is, you know, advanced technology. They're doing a lot better. They've really 
made the system nice and easy and uncomplicated to use. And it's more comfortable. I, I love it, actually. You know, I like Medtronic. Um, not everybody loves Medtronic, but not everybody loves the other brands either. So, okay, guys, that's it for my makeup. What do you think? Um, I am going to open my Splendies. Let's see. We'll open this in. Splendies is a subscription I pay for every month. Um, I know they go from extra small to 4X in sizes, and you can choose thongs, no thongs, or some thongs. You get three pair, so every, they like to do, you know, holiday and season themes. I'm not going to worry about my fingers that much because I have to wash them. Uh, I'm going to tear up the cardboard and stick it in the trash. It was wrapped up in pretty tissue paper. Splendies and, oh, I like them. They're cute. This is the first pair. Nice, 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 beautiful. I love the blue. So there's the back. Got We got us a little bow on the front and lace in the lace sides. Very nice details and everything. Second pair, very spring. Oh, I like these. They're soft. Oh, they're so soft. So I like the lace around it. It's elastic lace. And the panties are really soft. And they do have the, the extra layer in the crotch. All of them do. They always do. And this is the back. Very cute, very spring. And then we have the flowery. They're, they're more of a silky material. We still have the lace. Um, do we got a bow? Yeah, we got a little bow up there. Now this pattern, I'm not too crazy about, but it's cute. I will wear them. After I wash them, I'll wear them. So I'm very happy with them. Um, I think I pay $16 a month, but every month they send you, uh, it's like getting a happy birthday to me every month because, uh, I mean, there's a couple of pairs that I haven't been like super crazy about, but then, you know, most of them I do like, I have, I wear them all. I've never given any away because I didn't like them or anything. Um, they all fit nicely. I love, you know, how they fit on me. And I'm not wearing what people call old lady or granny panties. I can wear something nice that fits and feels comfortable, which I, I appreciate that brushing my hair and as I'm brushing I got a ton of hair coming out as always my entire life it's been like that but my hair is still super thick but I think the more I lose weight the worse it gets too but I am eating healthy so and uh Ashley when she does my hair she tells me my hair is super healthy now. So, and it grows, it's still growing. So, I just find it annoying because I hate, I will not leave hair in my brush and just walk away. And I fuss at my granddaughters about it too. Clean your hair out of your brush. Got that wave going on. <laughs> That's from the ponytail. Because I wear it in a ponytail at night. Sometimes a bun. It just depends on how I feel or if I'm hot or, you know, whatever. But it's a lot of hair. It's, it is a lot of hair for it to not make a difference. You know what I mean?
and I wish my hair didn't grow in so many different shades. I'm like a calico cat, you know, hair. <laughs> so, but I love my hair and I'll never cut it. So, and I feel blessed to have, you know, long, thick hair that I don't have to worry about anything so far. I mean, my mother and grandmother, they still have, well, my grandmother passed away, but when she passed away, she still had all her hair. And my mother still has all hers. And so does my sister, who has very thick hair, just like I do. So did my mother, well, so does my mother, and so did my grandmother. So I gotta be careful not to pull my earrings out or my hearing aids. So, but okay, guys, I'm going to get off here and go eat. I haven't eaten yet, and I am diabetic, so sometimes I forget I have to eat. But, um, you know, I'm a firm believer. I eat to live. I don't live to eat. So, that's the eyeshadow today. I think my makeup turned out pretty good. I do like it. Um, I like the products that I got yesterday from Ipsy. Uh, today, the eyeshadow palette, the Lash Step palette, I really like it. Um, I wish it had a couple shimmers in it, but it's not like I don't have any in any other palettes. You know what I mean? And my palettes are very accessible to me. So it, it only takes a second to grab a different palette and swipe on, you know, some shimmer on my lid. So with that being said, I hope you all have a wonderful day. I don't know if I'll be back over the weekend. I may, I may not. But if not, I'll see you next week. And you have a beautiful weekend and take care and stay beautiful. Bye-bye.